Okay, down here, and I have put the thermal fuse back. And this is the thermal fuse from the newer Veron heater fan, bathroom heater fan. Uh, I believe it's bad because it will not beep on the continuity tester. But I thought, keep thinking, well, what if they don't actually make a connection? Maybe they have a, a connector sort of like this, that's sensitive to uh, current, and they, you know, they close up. Well, of course, they're made to open when they when they get too much current, too much heat. Uh, I'm not sure if they work on current or heat, but or a little bit of both. Anyway, I've got the uh, this is the old original motor, the old original one. I have t two of them. See, this is the new rotor and the new fan, which is new. I just a couple about two years old, and this is bad. I've confirmed that this this has an open circuit in it, and it's bad. But I got uh, I got thinking well maybe my tests are fooling me and maybe that thermal I th that's the first thing I thought was the thermal fuse was bad but you'd get an open circuit with the bad uh, windings too and your if your windings are, are you know they got an open in them then you're still gonna you're not gonna get con con continuity so let's plug it in okay no motor so yeah bad thermal fuse. See, that's what uh, this one was doing with its original thermal fuse, which I'm sure is bad too. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah, everything's still on up there. Motor not spinning. And it, what does work if I use a jumper wire on it? If you hadn't seen, you know, this. You did see the other videos before this one. This whole it's going to be a whole series. I just had I just had this little jumper on there, and that'll make it work. So uh, gotta be careful. All this is hot, you know, when it's plugged in. So um, I think I will put. I keep swapping these rotors back and forth, trying to see if one of them make you know would work better, or if I thought this one since it's newer would last longer. But it actually, when you try when you have it in there and you try to wiggle up and down. And this one will go back and forth a lot, but it doesn't matter which rotor's in there, it's just the way it's made. Because uh, uh, this one does the same thing when it's in here, but when it's in that other one, it doesn't move very much at all. So that's just, uh, I guess, is how wide this, uh, it's probably just how wide the, these plates are. It just maybe has a couple more plates in it. That's probably all that is, now that I think about it. So, um,. But you can put, squeeze it and stop it, so it doesn't have a lot of power, and it can do it with either one. But I thought it might have been a little more powerful with this one in it, so I think I'll put it back in there and try again. When I first started running it, I, with my jumper in there and everything, it uh, I couldn't stop it. I didn't, you know. But I, I was kind of grabbing it more out here, and that's got that flat spot, and I couldn't grab it as well. But I started grabbing it up here. I don't know. Anyway. I don't know that it's worth I'm trying to think of alternative ways or like an actual well you know you could get a, it I don't have anything that just flat doesn't work that I can think of like you could we wouldn't be the right you, you don't want something like this in your up in your attic basically you know in your ceiling that it's not the way it cutting off like it's supposed to but I mean you could use one of those you know those space heaters I have a couple of old space heaters that work but not very well and you could take the the trip fuse out of it and wire it in there but it might not be the right amps you know and the right I mean I can I can read this one I can see what amps I, I forgot what amps it says but uh, anyway I'm gonna take it out and uh, I don't imagine it would help to put this one back in there but I may just for make sure I'll take it out and put the other one in there just to triple check that it is bad too because this wouldn't work before. It's why it was taken out and now it's working. Working with the, I think it was just a bad thermal. Well, it's probably a pretty well worn motor and then a bad thermal fuse. So anyway, all right, bye.